things compartmentalized and separate. And before I learned discipline and boundaries from my teacher, um, I <laughs> good. Um, I'm glad you told Julia. Um, before I learned boundaries, when I would go to work and I was first training to become a medium, the spirits would pop in while I was at my day job. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what do I do? Like, I can't give a reading to this lady at work, first of all, for many reasons. One, you should never approach someone and just give them a cold reading without their permission or knowing because they may have lost their loved one two days ago and they may be very traumatized by it and you definitely don't want to cause them to experience more trauma um hello everyone who's joining you also need their permission um ahead of time i i don't i wouldn't i've asked one person and this was a person who was a friend. Um, their their loved one came through to me the night before work. It was somebody at work a few years ago. And I just felt like this person really, really needed this message because of her lifestyle. And I think it would heal this person very much. And I didn't know this about this person, but she said, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in any of that. And I said, okay. And I never brought it up again. Um, and I normally would never do that, but this message came so strong. But you have to accept when you're doing this work that not everyone wants a message not everyone's open to a message and you just have to tell spirit which is what i did when the time is right make it so she can get this message somehow some way and i guarantee you and i don't know this for a fact but i would guarantee almost almost 100 percent guarantee that this person dreamt about her loved one in spirit within two weeks after that because when they want the message to come through, it's going to come through, whether it's through a medium or through a dream, they're going to get the message across. They're just going to.